वेलकम फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो मॉडर्न मेडिकल साइंस इज इम्पॉसिबल विदाउट एंटीबायोटिक सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक ऑन एंटीबायोटिक प्रोडक्शन एंड हाउ एंटीबायोटिक्स आर प्रिपेयर इंडस्ट्रियली बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन एंड अदर्स एंड व्हाट इज बीटलेक्टम एंटीबायोटिक्स आई विल डिस्कस ऑन दैट so uh, if you see at this picture this is nobel prize and this is alexander fleming who got nobel prize in the year of 1945 for his discovery of penicillin uh, with his co-worker flory and chen which opens up and a new era in medical science penicillium notatum is the fungus which is actually used previously for the preparation of penicillin but nowadays penicillium chrysogenum is used for the production of penicillin as you know here percentage yield is much more as compared to penicillium notatum antibiotic preparation industrially it is done by the process of fermentation and in this method large quantities of microorganism taken in a medium 1 lakh to 1.5 liters of volume uh, of the growth medium along with that you have to maintain oxygen concentration and temperature along with ph and nutrients so that fermentation can be conducted ideally and antibiotics are prepared in large quantities what is fermentation fermentation is an anaerobic biochemical process in which an enzyme generally yeast helps to convert sugar to alcohol or acetic acid and here carbon dioxide is generated so by application of this fermentation process penicillin penicillin is prepared you see this picture uh, here penicillin Uh, penicillium notatum and sugar added from head from this point and this is the penicillium culture containing carbohydrate and amino acids and from this point you see uh, steam or cold water is injected and at this point steam or cold water is taken out and here when this uh, air is supplied from this point here bubbles is produced when the carbon dioxide is uh, con is uh, coming out for the conversion of sugar to carbon dioxide you know the process is uh, fermentation so uh, from this below point culture removed and then by application of different uh, methods like extraction and purification this crystalline product is isolated semi synthetic method is very interesting and you know it is combination of both natural that means fermentation and laboratory work so very interesting uh, if you see uh, the production of uh, semi synthetic antibiotics like ampicillin where as an amino group is added to the penicillin you see that a structure this is the penicillin common structure this is the beta lactam ring and this is the side chain thiazolidin at here you see nacor when this nacor means r means this is penicillin okay the common structure it is benzyl penicillin now if you see this point if this point is replaced this hydro hydrogen is here if this hydrogen is replaced by nh2 group that is ampicillin so this is penicillin here only hydrogen is uh, present and this hydrogen is replaced by nh2 group that is ampicillin so this is the modification so now how you can prepare any kind of semi synthetic antibiotics like penicillin you see this is the six apa that means six amino penicillinic acid here uh, nh2 group if you uh, take another reagent like rc double h that is carboxylic acid group and you see that elimination of water h from this nh2 and oh from this carboxylic acid then the formation of a bond nhcor 
so elimination of water o is from this group and a is from this nh2 group so just uh, consider this elimination of water and it forms nh then cor so nh and cor will will remain and h2o will eliminate out so by this way you can prepare semi synthetic penicillin derivatives so very simple but uh, uh, what is beta lactam antibiotics you see this ring so this ring uh, if you uh, nomen if you uh, consider nomenclature of this ring starting from uh, a point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 position it is having double bond o that is own 7 own then hepton as you know seven members ring that's why hepton hept for seven and then uh, fourth thia so 1 2 3 4 thia means uh, sulfur so fourth thia as for uh, heterocyclic nomenclature this nomenclature i am describing so fourth thia then one aja this is one position so one aja fourth thia one aja then uh, bicyclo that means two rings one ring this and another ring this one so how many members you consider this is the common point just put your fingers here so other than this position there are three members 1 2 3 so three members that why three then you consider this side one and two two points are there so that is two so three for right side members two for left side members and in between these two there is no member so that's why zero so name of this penicillin ring will would be fourth thia fourth thia one aja bicyclo that means two cycles are there then three two and no members zero so then hepton seven members and seven position having own so seven own so i just tried to uh, name this penicillin ring and you know this ring n four members ring with uh, nitrogen this heterocyclic ring with uh, double bond o so this is called beta lactam ring so beta lactam ring is four, four members ring one nitrogen inside the ring and double bond o outside the ring so this is the beta lactam ring so antibiotics with containing this uh, ring beta lactam is called beta lactam antibiotics so i hope you understand now how six apa that means six amino penicillinic acid is prepared simple you take uh, aqueous penicillin solution and then uh, along with that you take uh, penicillin penicillin acyclase enzyme which actually uh, helps to break down that penicillin uh, ring and under control temperature and ph just this ring breaks down and produce this uh, uh, 6 apa you see just structure you see this is the 6 apa just you reverse consider consider reverse one you take this one then acyclase enzyme is there so it will break from here and it will convert to 6 apa okay so now another uh, semi synthetic method for the preparation of methicillin here two methoxy group is present in phenyl group you see the structure this is the penicillin here in this position two methoxy group that means o c h 3 o c h 3 so two here one position and here another position so two and six position two six dimethoxy so that is the structure of methicillin so uh, you can easily prepared by the method of semi synthetic and uh, how to increase the antibiotic production in, in industrially see uh, by choosing higher yielding strains of anti uh, higher, higher yielding uh, strains of molds or fungus just i have given example that uh, penicillium notatum is previously used but nowadays penicillium chrysogenum is used so penicillium uh, chrysogenum is higher yielding strains another uh, method to increase the uh, yield is gene amplification where copies of genes coding for enzymes you know that enzyme involved in the antibiotic production 
कैन बी इंसर्टेड बैक इनटू ए सेल भाया वेक्टर्स सच एज प्लाज्मेट्स ओके सो बाय दिस प्रोसेस यू कैन आल्सो इंक्रीज द ईल्ड सो होप यू अंडरस्टैंड देन सिंथेटिक एंटीमाइक्रोबियल यू कैन नॉट से सिंथेटिक एंटीबायोटिक्स एज यू नो एंटीबायोटिक हैज ए स्पेसिफिक डेफिनेशन एंटीबायोटिक मीन्स विच इज डेराइव फ्रॉम नेचुरल सोर्स एंड एक्टिंग इन वेरी लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन बट इन केस ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोवियल इट इज नॉट प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम नेचुरल सोर्स दैट मीन्स मोल्ड्स और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजिम्स और बैक्टीरिया वॉट एवर इट इज सो दैट मीन्स यू कैन से सिंथेटिक एंटी माइक्रोवियल्स सो क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द फर्स्ट सिंथेटिक एंटी माइक्रोवियल्स सो दैट एंसर इज सालफना सालफा नीलामाइट विच इज डिसकवर्ड बाई डोमाक एंड हिट्स कॉलिग्स एंड इट इज द ब्रेक डाउन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्रोन्टोसिल so next uh, by this uh, way you can prepare any kind of synthetic antimicrobial by uh, synthetic methods so there are so many examples like quinolone derivatives and fast quinolone derivatives which was synthesized is nalidixic acid so uh, you see the structure of nalidixic acid this one and this is the common structure of fluoroquinolones okay so two members uh, two six member rings and this nitrogen is mandatory it is known as quinoline ring and in quinoline there is double bond o that is quinolone so if you see the structure two six member rings it attached attached and one nitrogen should be at this position so this is quinoline ring so hope you understand uh, and there are so many method and schemes i am not going to discuss in details thanks for your valuable time if you have any question feel free to ask thank you